In this video, we're going to be studying the combined gas law. We've looked at several gas laws already, including Boyle's law, Charles' law, and Gay-Lussac's law. Now you'll recall, um, this is the equation for Boyle's law. This is the equation for Charles' law. And this is the equation for Gay-Lussac's law. So Boyle's law relates pressure and volume, Charles' law, volume and temperature, and Gay-Lussac's law, pressure and temperature. Notice that this is in black, this is in red, and this is in blue. As you probably guessed, the combined gas law combines all three of these formulas into one. So we'll take the pressure from Boyle's law, we'll take the volume from Charles' law, and we'll take the temperature from Gay-Lussac's law. This will be our initial conditions, and those will be equal to our final conditions. So P1 times V1 divided by T1 equals P2 times V2 divided by T2. And this is called the combined gas law. The combined gas law historically combines Boyle's, Charles, and Gay-Lussac's law. Um, you won't necessarily see this in too many textbooks, but we can also add um, Avogadro's law to the combined gas law. Remember that Avogadro's law relates volume and moles. So if we like, what we can do is we can insert moles into the denominator of the equation. So while this is called the combined gas law, and it is the combined gas law, um, we can also use this um, if we like as well. In fact, we can use this equation for all of our gas law problems. And let's say, for example, um, pressure isn't mentioned. Well, then we just use volume, temperature, and moles. If temperature and moles aren't mentioned at all, well, then it's just a Boyle's law, which is P1V1 times P2V2. So we can use this for all of them. And whichever variables um, uh, we're not using, we can just leave them out of the equation entirely. So this is a combined gas law. And we can also use this one too.